My name is Opio Innocent Miria. Uh, I work as an energy researcher at Center for Research in Energy and Energy Conservation. Uh, you welcome to this demonstration, which is more about uh, gasification. Uh, what you're seeing uh, in the background is a gas fire. Uh, it's a technology we imported from uh, US from a company called All Power Lab. Uh, gas fire works based on the process of gasification. Gasification is a process where biomass is converted into syn gas uh, by uh, running it or converting it through high temperature but under control uh, oxygen. Uh, the end product is normally a gas with high concentration of carbon monoxide and some other like methane. The importance about this is uh, gasification can convert waste, the waste which is in the form of biomass, for example, waste from uh, ag agro processing or maybe from agricultural activities like rice husk, coffee husk or maize cobs can all be converted into the syngas and then the syngas is used for running an engine which will later on provide electricity to uh, run other appliances. Uh, in Uganda we have been implementing this project to uh, add values to farmers especially in the northern part of the, the country where uh, electricity grid has been uh, limited. Uh, majority of the farmers were having the waste but they were not having any electricity to transform uh, their, uh, by, I mean, their seeds or their crops or their grains into a product that can earn more money. Therefore, this project came in uh, to help them convert that waste into syn gas and then use that syn gas to run electricity. And the electricity was used was being used to mill maize, to mill. Uh, uh, paste that is grinding groundnuts and also threshing like uh, the rice among crops. So how does this gas fire work? Gas fire uses different types of feedstock. Uh, one of it is the maize, uh, maize cobs. This is a byproduct of agriculture after removing the grains. And then we process this by drying it and cutting it into pieces. The size is between 30 to 50 millimeters. That is required to fit in, in the hopper. Uh, the hopper, of course, uh, is where you pour this feedstock. And then other feedstock, other uh, uh, agricultural waste like coffee husk, you cannot use it alone as coffee husk. We always mix it with maize cobs or where you have wood chips. We also mix it with the wood chips uh, at a ratio of 50-50. Why we are mixing? Because uh, the sizes of this is too small. And so when you pour it in the hopper it tends to settle and the process of pushing it into the reactor uh, by the agar becomes a bit difficult when it is only the coffee husk. So because this is bigger it tends to help to push it into the reactor. These different feedstock they have their own uh, quality or properties that is suitable for this process. Uh, maize cobs is very good, but its working temperature is limited to 900. If you operate this gas fire on maize cobs at temperature above 1000, it will start forming clinker. That is, the ash that is coming out after the combustion will melt to form a solid component that will uh, prevent the flow of the rest of the feedstock. This is because uh, maize cobs contain high concentration of silica, potassium, or sometimes uh, calcium. 
These elements I've mentioned tend to reduce the melting temperature of the ash. Uh, we have found that wood chips, especially from hardwood, is much better than all the, the, the feedstock I've mentioned from the agro-based activities. But of course, the challenge is getting it or processing it is a bit difficult. Uh, we have also tested using pellets where, uh, of course, this we, we have procured it. Pellets also works well, but it will depend on the different materials from which it, is, it has been produced. Uh, we have tried with fecal sludge. It worked well, but fecal sludge contained uh, a lot of sand and it tends to produce a lot of ash and therefore reducing the efficiency of the engine. This filter contain, contain the different filtering material as I mentioned. We normally put uh, like about five to 10 centimeters of biochar. Uh, this is because biochar has the property of absorbing moisture and also like in the pores it can absorb other uh, other components that comes along with the syn gas, which is tar. Like if you want to know the temperature, how hot it is inside there, you just press here to see the temperature. If you want to know the pressure, these tubes here, they are connected to some points where it will tell you the pressure inside here. Then also if you want to know uh, within the pressure there is minimum, there is maximum. Also within the temperature there is minimum, there is maximum, so you can select all the parameters you need for operation. Then this one is of course will be telling you also the engine RPM, accessories are the blowers because when you are running this it will be pulling that one is connected to the top of this that pulls that gas now through this filter and passes it to the engine or else if you close this it means this one is connected here and then it is connected on top of this so if I'm running, if, it, if I'm just starting, it means the quality of the gas is poor. I, I close this, which is going to the engine. Then I open this, which is going to the flare. So you can hear, this blower is sucking through. So it will be sucking the syn gas from the gas fire all through, through the filter. And then it goes to the flare. But once the gas quality, you see it from the temperature here, if the temperature is about 600 to 700, the gas quality is now good. You even hear or you'll see flame at the flare. So as the flame is burning and then when the quality is very good, the flare will begin sucking the flame inside. Then that is an indication that you should now close this one going to the flare and then you open this one going to the engine. After opening this, then immediately you turn on the engine. Of course, you now reduce the gas and also the air because the suction created by the engine will pull that gas from the reactor through this uh, filter by itself as the engine is combusting. So initially it is closed. This is the lighting port. So when I want to light, I will open this lighting port. And then... I... So 
So once I've opened this propane gas, then I will aim at the port. For about five to 10 minutes, depending on the quality of the feedstock inside. Of course, prior to this, we normally inject some paraffin just to help because the different feedstock has different volatility. Volatility is how fast it catches fire. Like after five to 10 minutes, then I go to begin balancing the gas and the air. Once it has caught fire, then you'll see smoke coming through this flare. You control that by adjusting these blowers. You see that blower is also supplying the oxygen for combustion of that gas. And this one is to suck the syn gas through a line, pulling it through the filter, and it comes through this. So once I've closed this line, when the syn gas is good, then it means it is the engine that will be pulling the syn gas now through the filter until it goes into the engine. So when the engine is running, that suction pressure is created automatically. Mm -hmm.